We are gonna get underway here with referee Justin Hale in the middle, right to Tennessee Elite's hands with the volleyball pass and the big steps coming early from them. And they're in that blue strip and roots, of course, in their trademark red and black. Tennessee Elite looking for that space on the outside early. Spinning that one. We've got the lights on now at the stadium. It's just absolutely beautiful. A sunset in the distance. At this Round Rock a multi-purpose complex in Austin, Texas for Freetail Sevens. As you mentioned earlier, Pool C match. Running all the way across the field. Finally brought down. This must have been right on the shoulders with that tackle. But nice control here by Tennessee Elite. Big miss pass over the top. But Roots calm in defense. Here comes that physicality now. Still the leg drive, looking for the offload, finally giving the backdoor dish. And into touch there, using that length of the field, but just losing the lights on it makes it a little bit difficult sometimes. <laughs> yeah, flag goes up there, but you know, just a great job keeping that fin. He was looking for that support runner. He had an offload in the other hand, but nobody really making that hard line, able to give him space, and so eventually works their way out of bounds. But move the ball down the field. They're deep in Roots territory now. Uh, and first line out, we'll see what Roots does here as far as how they're going to lift. And we've seen Roots working really well off of their platform. But today, spoiled by the Elite, the first one. That one, a backwards pass, so we'll play on. Just going in a circle there, a little bit of merry-go-round. Looking for the gap, making it. Absolute stunning step. Oh, that is a whip tackle. Referee content to play on there, but that looked pretty nasty. Now ball carrier not releasing, so Roots get out of jail free card here. Created his own space there. We see, look at this whipping, wham, slam to the turf. Hard done, but held on right there and didn't allow the turnover to take place and Roots are back on the attack. And this one, a nice chip kick. We've seen him do this all day long with the speed. He is absolutely so fast. He does have one coming, but he's gonna touch this one down with little pressure. Roots are on the board first. Great job playing to your strength. He saw nobody at home, back deep, chip kick, and got the bounce. The Great job on the pursuit of his own kick there. Dots hey, down the try. One more time. Right there, up high. Just a great bounce here. Pops up perfectly for him. Chest high, barely had to break stride. Able to beat the last defender. Puts it in for Ten five. Seconds. See what they can do with the conversion here. It's kind of been hit or miss for them, but this one's going to split the post. That is wonderful for Roots, seven to zero. Four minutes left in this first half. One more yeah, look at this beautiful camera work here. And look at that sunset back there. Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. Weather's perfect, pop's perfect, try time. And we will have a full day of matches for you tomorrow. We'll start with our men's semifinals then finish out our women's pool and then we'll get into, excuse me, we'll start with quarterfinals and then we'll get into the men's semis after the women's pool. So stay with us tomorrow. These two teams need the W to get up in their pool. Tennessee Elite pushing this out to the right side. Love the distance they use. They really take up the whole width of the pitch. Big tackle coming in there, but still popping up so quickly. Back on his feet. Roots are in there trying to get the ball, but this one slicing through the middle. He has the man bun, the long legs, and now the try. He just shot out of a cannon right there. You know, it looked like he was held up, and he just sort of fended off and accelerated off the edge of that ruck. And man, I didn't think he had it in him, but he, he said maybe it was that man bun power. <laughs> he goes all the way downtown and scores it. And it may be more of a messy bun than a man bun, <laughs> but it's looking good on him. So it should be an easy conversion to tie this game up. There it is. Make this one even at seven to seven. We did see a draw earlier. You see right here, the take off the back, a quick fin and just rocket acceleration right there. You see him get the separation, able to maintain it. And tied this game up at seven. We're about okay. two, two and a half minutes left Time in the off. half and both teams looking particularly dangerous. They've each had a couple of breaks, one each resulting in a try. Uh, it's about as even as matchup as we expected it to be. Good showing from both teams so far. Time back on. Agree completely. Elite will get us going again. That clock ticks down to two minutes. 
One's a bit deeper into Root's hands. Nice pick up off the back to keep this one quick. That one deemed to have been a knockoff. Root's not happy about that call. Elite with a really good spot for a scrum. Yeah, just a little sloppy there at the back. It was a great high ball take off the kickoff, but I think that one just bounced off the ground a little bit more. Justin Hale on the spot to call that knock on. And now this, I believe, will be the first scrum in Tennessee's favor. They've got the field split wide. Their far man all the way on the opposite side at the halfway point. I expect them to test the outside right here. Yeah, I think they'll use the wit. And we've been talking about Nav all day, and that's really who these teams are looking towards. Get a penalty there, not driving straight in the scrum. An elite, looking like they're sharpening their tools, but they've got to get past the roots. That was another WWE move. Big tackle coming in. Some violence in this contact out here. Is that what we do, violence? It is. Elegant violence, That's right. right. <laughs> Just slipping on the turf there as the sun setting down behind us. Elite marching their way down the pitch. Take it out to this left side now. Stutter step, just trying to hold that defense. He holds two defenders there. Can he release his teammate? Almost. It's good defense Missed. by the men in, in red. Great yeah, job by Tennessee there to retain possession. I thought they might lose that one. Good support run on the outside. It's like a structured called play there into the corner. No Justin puts up the hand. I think he's going to check with his well, assistant referee, Cat Roche. Roche. It looked yeah, good from here. Touch. Yeah. I was happy with touch. You were happy with touch. I have a knock and go. Okay. So going to be a to red. Yeah. Yeah. No try, not going. No try is the decision. There's another look. Yeah. You see this support runner's gonna come around the outside. Yeah, he calls six, it from his backhand cross and right there. We're at four times and a half. Running. Let's watch that left. Gentlemen, to me. Oh. Dropped it. Yeah, a little separation there. He stayed in bounds, but wasn't able to maintain contact with it all the way through and just dropped it. Unfortunate. Crouch. Hold on, hold on. Bind. It's a really good conversation there. You heard it, but we just want to go through it again. Set. The assistant referee, Kat Roche, just letting him know that her main priority is touch, yeah, so good. she was good there. And then they walk, talked it through, and the separation was the call there. So a great job by our match Not officials. Going. Advantage, advantage over. He's stealing this one. He's already scored one. Trying to find some more space. He's really good at making holes in the defense. Now stacking this left side. Big hit though coming in. Elite having to get there quickly with the support. The tussle. Penalty coming. Four roots. Back, back. Gonna go quick. You're good now. There's a step there. Gotten around one. Now the kick. No big hit on. coming in. Chasers on. What a bounce. Yes, absolutely spectacular. Roots doing it in style. What a bounce there. Great kick. He got walloped because he let that one go. But perfectly into the field of play to catch a support runner. And bounces up chest height. And they're back in the lead as we end the first half. And that one was Jihad Kabir. We'll take another look at it here. A quick tap there. Breaks to the outside to get away from the one. They weren't back 10. He knows he's not going to be able to take it himself. So here's the kick. And he gets pounded as he lets it go. The chaser onside and the perfect bounce. He goes through and dots it down to five, but that conversion was not good, so it'll stay 12 to seven. Yeah, stay with us. We'll have our second half coming up of this no, pool no, C no. match. No. Roots leading 12 7 over Tennessee Elite. Who won the throw? They, you got, you got Pope.
Welcome back, second half. We're gonna take a look at that sexy, sexy try one more time. You can see right here, he makes that break off the quick tap. Sees he's gonna get in, boom, big hit as he got through. That chaser, great job by him staying on side. And just such a great take. Man, that's just a great support line on the inside. And that's Jihad Kabir on that out of Atlantic City, but now living in DC, played at AIC. He's in private security with quite a few teams, Beltway Elite, Life West, Bulldog Rugby, Rocky George, Gorge, excuse me, Harpooners. As we get you back to the action. And now the restart by Elite. Taken oh, by Elite, no. just spinning out of that one. This is a huge start for the Elite. There's the touchdown. They needed that one. What a take. What a way to start the second half of the lead. That was awesome. Great individual effort collecting this kick. You see it's a nice high kick. About 12, 15 meters deep. You can see him go up. 15 seconds. Out compete. How did he hang on to this? I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. We had TMO. <laughs> we might come back. <laughs> but gathered it in and scored it anyways. Maybe he said not back on the initial touch there by. Conversion is missed. So this one will stay 12-12. Six minutes to go in this second half. And this one is so tight. And Roots, if you recognize some of the players out there, number five, David Hightower. No, 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 no sweat there, Olympian. We've also got um, Aaron Gray out there as well, wearing number nine. So some spectacular players for Roots on this side. Putting together a strong, strong side. That one getting the volleyball tap back. Whose hands is it gonna end up in? Looks like into Elite's hands. Immediately into contact. Now the little stutter step again. And then off that right foot, the power. This big man. And there for the poach, penalty coming. Roots needs this. They've scored very good off of transition play. They've got space out wide. He doesn't use it, he may not need it. He gets a little dummy in there. Oyahom Holneman with that one. To the left, he's already scored one. Just the man with magic in his fingertips. Shoemaker, now elite, has turned this over. They do have a little bit of space out to the outside. This one just getting really close to that touchline, so they're gonna have to switch directions. And Elite being very patient. Roots down a man right now. It looks like our try score Kabir down on the sideline, writhing in pain. So six on seven for the time being. And a shot right there. Noble down. It's Noble that's down. Time off. We got a player down. We got a player down. Time off for the injury here. When we restart, we'll come back to this penalty for the high tackle. Yeah, but so it's Demonte Get Noble getting the attention. Time is off. Get a jersey. So we're going to look at this replay again. And Tim, what do you okay. think? Is this okay. card worthy? We, are we happy with a PK? What do we do here? No, he made that split outside. And he happened to lose subbing. the ball and as okay. he was going. I think he's, I think the defender thought he still had it. His knee got jammed into the ground right there when he landed on him. So you, technically he did play the man without the ball, but I don't know that he could see that he no longer had it in possession when he got hit. That left knee certainly got shoved into the ground hard with that other player's body weight on it. It's tough. I almost equate it to like when they're going to score and somebody comes in and slams them in the back. That's kind of where I'm leaning, where I would maybe look at a yellow card there. Scrum option. They have the benefit of TMO maybe. They could just run up here. We'll hold the game for them. <laughs> we could turn the monitor around. <laughs> Yeah, it's always, in the heat of the moment, it's always tough to call. I can see it both ways, but he's he's taken off and replaced, and so now it's back to seven on seven, and we come back just for a continuation of play here with the scrum. And the elite back in this one off, you know, a couple, you know, 50-50 calls there on the kickoff and there on that play as well. So uh, very tight match halfway through the second half. This is a big, big set piece right here. Big shove from Roots, and of course, Noble is a USA 7s player as well, so... Hope he is okay, just being precautionary, but Elite testing the outer edge. 
Held strong though, Roots defense finally brought down. Elite gonna spin this one back the other direction. Big tackle coming in, this one getting very physical. We still have a tie match. 12-12, but three minutes to go on our time. And coming all the way back here, offsides. It's gotta be an AR call, a little bit of assistance coming into Hale. So Elite gonna go fast. And playing a bit of tempo. That's a beautiful dummy there. He fools everyone. He's got some pressure coming, though. He's a little short with the reach, though. That motion getting him across the line. Looks like he may have tweaked a hamstring there at the end. You could see it tighten up. It was a little hotter and maybe a little drier than folks were expecting, but still able to get the five pointers down right there. He had to reach as far as he could in a continuation of movement to get that one. But great job. Just a quick tap, show and go each way exploits the gap Thanks and just enough call, speed okay. to make it work out. And now the pressure on this kick. Ten seconds. We've seen this all day where even in front we've had a couple misses. This one is true. So Elite up by seven, 19-12. And now pressure turning onto Roots. So there's the quick tap. He's gonna look to his man, do it, run a little thin there. Oh, show will go back to him again. And like I said, just enough speed to beat the cover runner here and score and they're up by seven with under two minutes to go. Roots are gonna have to do something quickly. The kick. And we know that there will be some third place teams in the pool getting through, but then it gets down to differential and other th considerations. So you never wanna leave that fate out there. So this one is huge, these last few moments, 90 seconds. This one into Roots' hands. And they immediately secure this. Looking for space on the outside, but that one going to be knocked on. What Roots needed, this gives Elite a fantastic position for a scrum, and they are going to take their time. Yeah, milk this clock for all its worth, work this way down. Time management, nice words. Yeah, exactly. Make sure that you can use this everywhere you can so that even if you're not able to capitalize this into points, there's just not enough time left for the opposition to do anything as well. It does look our, like our hurt player was able to come back onto the field. Well, it's Kabir is back on. Noble also has the sleeve, so it is kind of confusing. Ah, sorry about that. <laughs> and we're, we've gotten a roster for Roots, but I'm learning that the numbers are not all right. So we're, we're doing our best to apologize. We have to work with what the teams give us, and sometimes that's incorrect or the players change their jerseys. And we apologize when we don't get things right. But Elite, They've got the back split here, the fly half just sitting in that pocket position. That makes that pass typically easier for the scrum half. They're usually under a lot of pressure. He does just pop it from the deck. An elite looking to go down this tight side here to the weak side. Pressure coming though, Roots with the steal and the penalty. We do have an elite player down with an ankle behind Justin Hale. There, now it comes in. So we'll take a minute here, but this one, still seven points up for the Elite. 12 seconds to go, so Roots have to score and have to make this conversion. Yeah, late in the day, you can see these lower leg injuries pile up. Guys are getting tired, joints are stiff after laying up a little while here in the last match of the day for them. But man, what a great job there in crunch time, winning the turnover there by Roots. Sounds good. Great job at that breakdown to reach in there and secure that ball. Hey, Captain. There's still 40 seconds on the clock. 40. Just having that elite hey, player There's, taking bring off. Him. Just bring him. Hey, Captain, it's still 40 seconds on the clock. So elite has 10 standings, 10 points Here's in the standings, four, and Roots have clock eight. Clock That's why wrong. we're talking about the standings here. So a win for both of these teams, and much more important for Roots, actually, to get this W here. So they've got one chance to do it. It's into Kabir's hands, and he is just magic. The way he's able to step players is just fantastic. Finally brought down, that one's a tackle. And the lead is stacked on this side, so that means we've got some numbers, we've got somebody lurking on the outside. Doesn't need it, though, he's gonna keep it himself. Now the short offload, finally releasing to the outside. That's gonna be a knock on. And it's advantage to the elite. You just have to get this penalty to the elite. They can end this now with a tap and out of bounds. See what they choose to do. It's gonna tap it and just kick it into touch. And elite move to 2-0 and in pool play. This is huge for them. 3-0, and thank you very much, Tim. 3-0 and for Tennessee elite and Roots will have to wait for this last match to understand the standings. We're gonna take it down to Lance for our interview.
Yeah, I, was, I, was, I, I, I am down on the thing. field here at Free Tail Sevens with the head coach of Tennessee Elite, Dustin Lavender. And what we thought before the tournament would be the game of day one, very highly contested match. Tennessee Elite came out on top. How you feel about the victory from the boys? Uh, I got You got to love the fight for the boys. Uh, we were down a half. I think it was 12, uh, 12, 7 and a half, and we ended up shutting them out in the second half. So the, the defense on day one was unbeatable by our, by our squad. This actually puts you as the winner of Pool C, if I'm correct. That means that you're going to have a nice position. What do you think about the quarterfinals and your chances of taking this entire thing? First time here, free tail sevens for Tennessee Elite. Uh, job's not finished, but I'm excited for it. Uh, we're in a good spot, and we're, we're ready for it. We're ready. Dustin, go celebrate the win with your team. I'll talk to you soon. Free tail sevens, we just had a great matchup between Roots Rugby, Tennessee Elite. That might be something we see later on tomorrow, but we're going to kick it back up top to you guys.